And we're also learning more about a new development in downtown Elmira. Work has started to bring new life to the old Star Gazette building. RH News reporter Nick Dabina has more on what the new owner is telling us. It has been nearly eight years since the last time Star Gazette newspapers were loaded off this dock and into the back of delivery trucks. Well now, there is some news to report about the future of this historic building. The first lines of a new story are being written at the former Star Gazette building on Baldwin Street. It starts with taking care of landscaping that hasn't been done in years. Cleanup has also started inside the building. The new owner says it is trying to figure out the best use for the property. A decision on a plan is expected late next month. The owner of the building is very familiar with buildings with those types of issues. Because um, there, are, there are some issues with, um, I don't want to say pollution, but kind of uh, environmental issues. And did I hear correctly that the environmental issues you mentioned may be related to the fact that they printed the papers in there and it's, yeah. the ink may have seeped into the ground or something like that, or is that wrong? I don't know if there's major seeping into the ground, but it, it just, there are some environmental issues that have to be handled. I'm not aware of all of them. I'm not aware of the complexity of it. The new owner says it will do an environmental review. The Star Gazette moved into the building in 1911. After 104 years, it moved out in 2015. In 2019, a brewery showed interest in buying the building, but passed. In 2020, Gannett sold the property for $215,000. The new owner said he would turn it into a studio and gallery for artists, but it didn't happen. In November of 2022, it was sold again to the current owner for $190,000. Now, despite the rain, crews here tell me they expect to finish landscaping this entire property, which spans an entire city block, in just five hours. And you can read more about the history of the Star Gazette building on our website. That's mytwintiers.com. In downtown Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.